What's going on everyone? This is Dustin with another episode of Electrician U and today we are going to break apart some three-way and four-way switches and see what's inside. So first off, I've got a three-way switch, Decor three-way switch. You can tell it's a three-way because it's got the three bolts on it. And then I've got a four-way switch, Decor four-way as well. So just curious to see what's inside these guys, so I'm going to rip them apart and talk about them. So we got it cracked open. trying to be very careful with how I do this because I don't want anything to come apart. So that's what the inside of it looks like. So inside of there, um, I've got this little flapper that corresponds to this guy and it'll actually move the switch into one position or the other. So if you can see deep down inside of there, we've got this little flapper that has a tab on it and it's two positions. So either way, if it's flipped like this, then it's gonna take this terminal and this terminal and it's, it's gonna connect the two. Or if you flip the switch in a different direction, it's gonna take this tab and this tab and it's gonna connect the two. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you're, you're, there is no on or off state. You're just basically sending power, you know, on one path this way, or you're sending power on one path this way. That's what that common screw is because both of these paths are uh, contingent on, on touching this one screw. This, the, this is the black common screw. So on a three way, you know, on, on your hot side where your incoming power is, your hot's going to attach to that screw. And on the other side, uh, on your leg side, this screw is going to be what your uh, switch leg gets hooked up to. And your travelers are hooked up to here in between each of these. And then the ground screw, you can't forget that. The ground screw is just a piece of metal that's touching this whole yoke. And so you're supposed to ground every one of these devices just in case a hot wire flops off and like touches this thing somehow. Um, the entire device is grounded and it'll trip a breaker if that ever happens. So pretty easy. That's three-way switches. All right, so on this guy, looks like you have two common terminals. Uh, you've got an incoming side. This actually says in on it. Uh, then you've got your outgoing side that says out on it. You still have a yoke that the ground is touching. So the entire, everything metal on this device is uh, hooked up to that, to that ground screw. So I'm gonna start pulling this guy apart. There we go. Now that I've mangled the shit out of it. All right, so same thing here. We've got uh, two flappers. So this position of the switch um, either pushes these little uh, plastic pieces up or down, which controls whether or not this goes up or, go, or goes down. So this this one terminal right here let's take for an example this terminal basically if the if these uh, flappers are in one position will connect this terminal to this terminal if it's in a different position it'll turn it'll hook this to this terminal same thing with this when you're switching one of these you're switching both of them so essentially uh, when you go down, it takes one of these terminals and connects it to this path. And when you go up, it takes this terminal and connects it to this path. So either way, there's two different ways that current can travel. Just like a three-way, you know, where you've got one path that can be traveled along here and one path that can be traveled from the black to this side. It's the same exact thing. It's just in, in, it, uh, 
it allows an input from two different directions, whereas this one only takes an input from one direction. So pretty simple, uh, pretty basic design, but uh, this is actually the first time I've ever taken one of these apart. It's pretty neat how it works. So in the next video, uh, what I'm actually going to do is take a whiteboard and I'm going to draw out the circuitry on how these things work because a lot of people still, after seeing this, are like, uh, no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to make one more video and I'm going to draw everything out in the circuitry.